Okay, no, thank you very much. Um, so, um, no, I was given uh, about five minutes to talk about the way forward on biodiversity. So I said, no, that's too much time, no, five minutes. Yeah. So uh, just my, that's why I called it my uh, personal reactions, because uh, no, indeed it was a very rich science week. And there's a very rich uh, body of work that, that's going on. So it's, it's great to, to see all of that. So I don't claim to have uh, digested it all. And actually, if I would claim it, then it meant I had split myself into different parallel sessions. So, so it's nice those things will be online. So then we can uh, learn from it. And also we have established some informal communities of practice, you know, like uh, we had in quite an interesting session on uh, species selection method. So I think we keep communicating and, and think we'll do so in the future. And there's a lot of work and knowledge from everybody that we can uh, build upon. So if you can have the next slide, please. So also what I told Fergus, you know, if you want me to talk about biodiversity, I have to show numbers. You know, biodiversity is about statistics. So, uh, so that's one of the slides that uh, was in the session uh, yesterday. And it was also about a study that we're conducting for FAO you know, on the state of forest genetic resources. So this is some uh, new data that was combined. So it looked at uh, globally, you know, for every country in the world, you know, how many useful trees uh, are there. And there are about documented 40,000 uh, useful uh, plants. And there's about uh, 60,000 uh, trees. So if you combine those two data sets, then you come up with about uh, 14,000 um, useful tree species. And then you can also cross-tabulate them across the, the world and also cross-tabulate them against the different major use groupings like uh, human food, uh, animal food, uh, environmental services, uh, etc. Um, then you can rank the, the countries. Uh, and what we can see uh, is that ranking the countries, you now we have Indonesia coming first, uh, Malaysia second, Brazil uh, third. And the countries highlighted are uh, the countries where C4 ICRAF you now has feet on the ground. And I think that's also echoes you know, what Lee was saying. I think what's important is to be in the field, in the country. And that, uh, and I would contrast it, you know, it was a good uh, introduction to biodiversity on the first day. But a lot of maps that you see globally, you know, they're made from the north and may not always reflect what, what's on the ground. So we are on the ground, so we can, uh, as you can see, <laughs> tour nodding as well. Because it's quite easy now, with a few clicks, you can make a, a nice looking map, but uh, you need to ground treat it as well. Uh, so the next slide. So the, it's a bit the same story here. So now uh, it's again countries ranked by uh, the number of useful trees. Uh, but now I included all the C4 ICRAF uh, countries you know, where, where we are. Uh, I've also included Germany, Kyrgyzstan. They rank a bit at the bottom, but uh, I'm not proposing that funding should be made appropriate to the number of species uh, native to your, uh, to your country. But I would say collectively, uh, if you look at all the useful trees, you can see the numbers at, at the bottom, those percentages you know, already a very high percentage of the world's biodiversity of trees is in the countries we work on. I think that's a good selling point. And it's also something yeah, that, that we know and that we can build upon. Um, next slide. Um, so one, one thing uh, that, that's also connected uh, very much you know, with uh, tree biodiversity is this uh, new collaboration of between a lot of different organizations called the Global Biodiversity Standard. And it has is based on these 10 golden rules for uh, reforestation, where also Susan uh, contributed to. And I would say a lot of the principles are, are known. 
you know, a lot of it is common sense, but uh, it's easier said than done. You know, if you look at those key principles, you no, know, it has to be participatory. Is about uh, quality planting materials. It has to be protecting uh, biodiversity. It has not to replace land, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Easier said than done. And also, it also shows the what what Fergus was saying. Now everything is interlinked. Yeah. So you can, I think, you cannot talk about biodiversity by itself. No, it's about restoration as well. It's about livelihoods. So also these issues are strongly interlinked, which we know, but also we need to, to build uh, upon. And what's very nice from the science week, we can see from across the world, we have many pieces of the puzzle uh, in place. So the next slide, please. So you cannot uh, also talk about biodiversity without also thinking about the genetic uh, diversity. So the slide, the map, uh, on the left top you now shows the materials that we have in, in our gene bank, you know, diverse material uh, in collected from many different countries you know, with many live gene banks that can now also fit into these uh, large scale restoration programs. You know? and, and on the right, you, know, you cannot see it in detail, but that's you now the plan of thinning the one of the breeding seed orchards in, in Ethiopia. It's actually a massive, massive, massive work. You know, these are several acres of, of uh, seed orchards. So I think also, I think Lars mentioned it in the earlier session, a lot of uh, hard work yeah, from the local team. They're actually, they said, back-breaking work you know, when they were planting. <laughs> you know, so yeah, it's already massive tree planting, just making those uh, orchards. So just imagine how many seedlings those will uh, generate. Um, then the map at uh, the bottom, it also links with uh, thinking about biodiversity. Uh, and also, this is a map of the global distribution of, of uh, ecoregions. And that's also something we can build upon, uh, not to think about you know, what's already protected and not. Note it's a paper on uh, nature needing half ideally to, to be protected, uh, but we can also link uh, the data you know, from the natural distribution of, of species into selecting you know, useful trees that uh, are suited to their conditions, and also then working on mixtures uh, of, of species. Uh, and I don't think uh, I made these slides very early in the morning. I don't think there was another slide. We can just, just a thank you slide. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No. So, uh, and I would say I'll, I'll stop there. I would say thank you very much for the opportunity. And, and I think it would also be great to keep uh, all the discussions uh, going. So uh, thank you.